it's Toby from the Utah Avalanche Center. I'm up here, it's on the 18th of November, and I'm up here on the uh, far, uh, see, west side of Miller Bowl. And I'm um, kind of heading up here to the south of Tony Grove Lake to have a look at the snow. The snow from the weekend blew in real nicely into the trees. It's a little thicker, so it's finally covering up some of the rocks and obstacles that were in here last week. A good sign. What we've got here is really uh, really weak sugary snow here on the ground. This is from the Halloween uh, cycle. You can see that's about that fist hard faceted sugary snow. <clears throat> and then on top of that is a slab that formed uh, uh, just with this last storm over the weekend. This is the saddle between Blind Hollow and Tony Grove Lake, south of Tony Grove Lake. Looking up here into a rock bowl, and the top there is at a 92.48, 92 92.50. 92 uh, you can see the rocks and stuff are still poking through. It's still quite shallow up in here, but this new snow from over the weekend definitely helped out a lot. Up in this area, it's been uh, wind hammered, swept around, blown into slabs, scoured. Well, it's pretty dirty right here. It's definitely been wind hammered. Here we are in Miller Bowl. South of Tony Grove Lake. See, we're spreading out here just as per good safe travel protocol in the backcountry. There were a few areas where we triggered heart stopping audible collapses and shooting cracks, indicating unstable snow. But overall, the snow just isn't really deep enough for slabs to propagate very far yet.